Hey there, welcome to another Decentraland tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to take a character from Google Poly, import it into Mixamo, and add this fantastic dancing to our scene. We're also going to look at how to allow some event handling to stop our dancer in mid-move. And we're going to look and cover some Blender basics and some GLTF exporting basics as well. For this tutorial, you're going to need a few different things on top of the Decentraland SDK that you should have installed. First of all, you're going to need a copy of Blender, which you can find at blender.org under their download page. With Blender, you're going to need the GLTF exporter plugin. There are a couple out there. In this video, I'm going to use the Koopoman GitHub version of the Blender GLTF exporter. And Finally, we're going to need a Adobe account to sign in to Mixamo and use the service. The first thing that we're going to want to do is find a character on Google Poly or your favorite 3D website. I like Google Poly because there's a lot of free and high quality material, but Sketchfab is also a good alternative and there are some other good 3D sites out there as well. I've already gone ahead and found a 3D model for us to use. This is by Spirit Ambassador. Thank you so much for attributing under the Creative Commons license. And it's perfect for our scene because the model is in a T configuration, which will allow Mixamo to use it and allow us to animate it pretty easily. And it's also pretty cool. I don't know about you, but every time I fly, I see this TSA agent looking through my bags. You can find your own model. I would suggest to look for a character with the similar T position, and you can follow the same steps using that character. Make sure that you download the, your character file under the OBJ or triangulated OBJ format. GLTF is not what we're looking for because we have to put it into Mixamo first, and FBX will cover a little bit later. So make sure you download it under one of these two. Once we've downloaded our file, we're going to go to mixamo.com and click on Browse Animations. You're going to have to sign into your Adobe account or create one. And here you can see there is a plethora of animations that we can choose from. But this character isn't what we really want. So what we're going to have to do is upload our own character and go through the creation of a new character skeleton. Click on Upload Character and then find our OBJ file and drag it in or select it. Once our file is uploaded, we're brought to the auto rigger screen, and we have to orient him to a T pose. So you can use these tools to rotate, and this is how we want for our next screen. Now what we're going to do is place markers on the various parts of the body. These little circles here correspond to where the auto rigger will generate our skeleton. So I'm going to place the chin right on his chin, and since it's a perfectly symmetrical T model, I'm going to check and keep use symmetry checked and place the wrists on the wrists. At the same time, I'm going to put the elbows roughly where I can see the elbow seam right there and the knees where the knees are. Finally, we're going to put the groin where the groin should go. And then hit next. The auto rigger is going to generate a skeleton and drop it right in so we can use Mixamo's beautiful animations. See you in a bit. Once the auto rigger has completed, we can see that our character is animated. It does a fantastic job, so unless you really messed up the markers, you won't need to go back and fix them. Let's keep going. Once our character is in the animation screen, we can select whatever we want to add. There are a bunch of animations that Mixamo provides, and we can download as many as we want. The same process will apply to adding them to your Decentraland scenes. Personally, my favorite is either the Samba dancing or the Belly dancing, so let's grab the Belly dancing. With the character selected and the belly dancing selected, we're going to hit download. And the format that we're going to use is FBX, 
under skin, you can select without skin and 30 frames and no keyframe reduction. Click download. Once you've downloaded as many animations as you'd like, we need to make sure to grab the T stance of this character so we can add it into Blender. Right under the upload character is the animation that we have selected. We're going to click on the gray X to view the triangulated model and download that in the standard T pose. Click download and we're good to go. Now let's boot up Blender and install our plugin. Once you've booted up Blender, we're going to need to install the plugin that we downloaded from GitHub. The easiest way to do this is to click under File, User Preferences, go on to Add-ons, and click Install Add-on from File. We're going to need to navigate to where we saved it. In this case, I saved it on my desktop, Blender GLTF Master, and just click Install Add-on from File. It installed, make sure to uh, click and enable it, and then click Save User Settings. And we're good to go. The first thing that we're going to do is add our base T pose model after deleting this stupid cube that is really disgusting. First, go under File, Import, and then click on FBX. I've already moved the download files into my documents, otherwise we'd have to navigate to find them, and click to select. Before you hit import, what we're going to select is manual orientation on the bottom left, and under armatures, select automatic bone orientation. Hit import, and if you zoom in, we have our base model. Fantastic. What we're now going to do is just rename some things for ease of use. Rename the armature to character. And under animation, we're going to rename this as T pose. So we know what we're working with. The next thing that we're going to import is the belly dancing. So do the same file import FBX and click belly dancing. Make sure that the automatic bone orientation and manual orientation is selected. It should be. And then click import. Now that our belly dancing is added, what we can do is click play on the playhead down here and see our belly dancing movement. What you're going to immediately see, though, is that our character is not moving. What we're going to do is effectively take the keyframes and animation parameters from the belly dancing model and apply it to our character original T pose. For ease of use, we're going to once again go under our belly dancing and rename it as belly dancing. And now we can get into the real work. The next thing that we're going to do is navigate to our action editor. So on these three lines down here, drag out a new panel, navigate to the dope sheet and navigate to our action editor. Here, once again, we can go through and hit play. And since we have the, the belly dancing selected, it's going to slowly go through and play the belly dancing animation. It doesn't seem to have saved my rename. What we're going to do next is select our character and under this panel right here, select F belly dancing. So what's going to happen is the keyframes from the belly dancing import are going to be added on to the base character model. So now if we hit play, both our character and the skeleton with the belly dancing animation moves about. This same process works if you're going to be adding another model. So let's say we go under File, Import, this guy. 
So now we have the armature 001 here. Let's go ahead and select the, the character again. And what we're going to do is we're going to select F armature. And it, once our second animation is imported, we're going to do the same process as adding the belly dance. We're going to go under here and hit F armature. I didn't rename it. And if you hit play, our character now has that animation. Now, since we're adding multiple, what we're going to do is click create new action. And then we can now go under belly dancing, play it, and click create new action again and we have all three of these actions saved under our character rather than our armatures. So let's say that you want a character with nine or ten animations if you have nine or ten files you can all add them under new actions of your character model and they will show up here. Once we are ready to go we're going to delete our armatures so that in our export they're not saved. And all we're left with is our beautiful belly dancing character. The next step is going under File, Export to GLTF. Under the parameters down here, we're going to make sure that on animations, we have all eligible, active only, and all eligible selected. And now we can go under here and hit export GLTF. After we've exported, go ahead and save the file if you'd like. And now let's open up our favorite text editor and get into the Decentraland SDK. Now that we have everything we need, I'm going to navigate to a directory and initialize a new Decentraland scene. In this case, since our model has so many polygons, we are going to need to add more parcels than the initial one. I'm going to add around six. Feel free to add as many as you'd like. I added a bit more than six there. Uh, with the new SDK, make sure to select interactive. And it'll install the dependencies and we'll be good to go. Now it's just a matter of programming. I'm going to code some stuff and we'll come back once I'm done. Essentially what this code does is it adds a simple event handler that stops the dance state whenever the pointer is down. Apart from that, it's pretty straightforward. This code you can see in a previous tutorial where we talk about a lighthouse rotating. and. Under here, the only thing new under the GLTF model is the syntax and also the skeletal animation parameters, which you can read more about on the Decentraland documentation. Another useful tool that I've found while working on Mixamo animations is the easy drag and drop 3.js GLTF viewer, which allows you to, after exporting your files, really easily drag them in and view the different animations that you have saved in the GLTF file. Here you can visualize what you have saved, you can visualize what they look like stacked on top of each other, and you can basically preview a lot in your browser. When we run our Decentraland preview, we have the scene that we were striving to create at the beginning. On a mouse button, the belly dancer stops, and once we release, he continues. There are plenty of things to build upon with Mixamo animations, and this is just a small preview of what's possible. If you have any questions, please refer to the Decentraland documentation or find us on our Decentraland forums. We'll be happy to help you out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.